welcome to a uh, very wet Lake Thalmia. Today's plan is to hike up to the top of Helvellyn for a summit camp. Hopefully the weather is going to dry up a little bit as the day goes on. Um, Met officers are saying later on today it will be showers uh, with some reasonably strong winds but nothing too bad. I think they're talking about 40 kilometer winds uh, so not quite as adventurous as when we went to Cata Idris but for now we'll uh, make our way from the car park and start walking up the hill so I've never actually been this way before I've been the traditional kind of stride and edge route but this is totally new to me on the map it's certainly a shorter route but looking at some of the contour lines I think there might be some quite steep stretches so time will tell but for now I'll sign off and uh, see you in a little while I think we're making our uh, way to the end of the wooded section now Gonna make our way through this rather awkward gate because it opens towards us, which means you have to backpedal on what is a bit of a steep, steep slope. Lands the gate though. And uh, we're heading up that way, up to uh, Helvell and hopefully. Um, I'm getting a little bit concerned about light though, because it's getting on a bit. We were a bit late getting here, so what I will say is if it starts to get dark, I'm just going to pitch the tent um, before we get to the top. But hopefully that won't be a concern and it won't happen. But. I've got that in my mind just in case. Better to be safe than be daft just to get to the top of a hill. Well, we've gained a bit of height now, and uh, it's really clearing out the cracking view. I'm just going to turn the camera around. It's fading a bit and I'll tell you what I'm bloody knackered um, that is a really tough hike that Hell Valen um, I thought it was the easier way to be honest and it, it, it probably is uh, and I haven't done stride and edge maybe my memory is uh, you know playing tricks on me but today that was one of the hardest uh, ascents of any summit in the Lake Districts I've ever done thoroughly enjoyed it weather was bloody miserable till nearly at the top but I'll tell you what I'm really pleased to say we're, we're here and this is this is the summer can Oh, sorry, rather, it's a trick point, isn't it? Come here, Cora! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's see how excited this one can be. Hello! Good girl. There we go. Come here. Let's touch it. Ah, oh, there we are. We're at the top. Down to find a place to uh, pitch a tent up here. See you in a bit. Well, we made it. We're pitched right up on top of uh, Helvellyn. It's absolutely bitter freezing. It's a bit windy. Uh, clouds right in, so there's nothing to see. And I'm not going out of the tent for a little while yet to uh, take any photos or videos out there because it's so cold. I've got my down jacket on and uh, I'm going to warm up a little bit, make something to eat, and I'll see you later on. Quick. Uh, Exit of the tent. 
can see absolutely nothing nothing at all clouds right in so we're going to get back in the tent now so i've got a nice summit to eat hot pot soaking and guess who is laying there staring at it who is it there's the summit there's the cora summit cora cora summit and she hasn't actually taken her eyes off it since I've put it to soak. <laughs> oh, God. What I would say is things aren't quite going to plan because it's all a bit cramped. I haven't got my GoPro out. I'm holding my phone with my hands. I've got myself a nice can of um, Northern Monk uh, made famous by the uh, Super YouTube Haze Outdoors. Um, and it's a nice stout. And I've just spilt it in my bloody tent and it's leaked everywhere. So I've got my wipes, which are used for mm, another reason in the morning with a little orange spade. And I've had to use them to wipe it all up. So in the morning, mm, no go in the loo, I'm afraid. Not for number two anyway. So listen, I'm going to have me a nice can. Hope I feel a little bit more relaxed. Have me, yeah. Uh, Summit to eat with Cora, and then I might just turn my phone back on and say good night, or I might just go to sleep. Who knows? I eh? um, if I don't take care, if I do, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Look at this little dog here. Look at her. All snuggling on my sleeping bag. I. No expense spared. It's absolutely hammering it down. I've just finished my coffee. I'm going to pack my stuff away now. Then uh, venture outside, put the tent down. And let's get a little bit lower down off the wind. Swamp there, leave no trace. Uh, really rough up here on the summit, so we're going to make our way down quite sharpish. Uh, hopefully, the wind will drop and the glass is a bit lower. So, I'll catch up with you really soon. This way, come on. doesn't like cairns very much. He seems to think they're uh, some sort of strange evil person. <laughs> so uh, as you can see, visibility is about, I don't know, 10 feet. Really cloggy um, and really wet. We're just basically in, in the clouds. Uh, it does make navigation a bit tricky at times though because there's, there's no visible landmarks at all. Uh, thankfully though this is a really well defined path so no problems there anyway. Uh, but I have got a map obviously to refer to by the GPS so we're covered.
There is one thing to be said for hiking in uh, really thick clag or cloud is that you get a really uh, immense feeling of being isolated as though you're the only person on the uh, hillside for miles and miles um, and I guess you could well be because the conditions aren't ideal for, for being up in the hills but I suspect there's lots of people still out today but you just get this lovely ambience um, I mean I'll, I'll just spin my me, me camera around and you know, I'm not really showing you much because I, I don't think you can see very much but you can see the limited visibility and possibly if I shut my mouth for a minute you might hear the water running that's just really idyllic so, let's see if this clears up a little bit as we get further down hey? there she is she'll always find a stick doesn't matter where she is there's always a stick for her uh, we're just approaching the the big gate, which I don't know uh, if you remember from earlier. It was uh, kind of taking us up from the woods onto the fells. Well, here it is now. Dolan. That's us done. We're nearly at the bottom of uh, Palvella now, back at the car park. So we'll be able to dry off in a minute or two. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as me and Cora have enjoyed making it although at times it's been a bit bloody miserable in the rain but nonetheless we get a certain kind of pleasure from doing this um, if you have enjoyed it then please subscribe to the channel and click the like button it really helps the channel if you can subscribe because it helps me grow um, also if you'd like to contribute towards the channel you can buy me a coffee but anyway for now we'll say goodbye